Hmm. Can I help you, Liam? What you doing, Jenny? Sweeping? Because I'm good at making messes. Oh. Looks like you're getting a tank ready for a new animal. Oh, yeah. Got a green tree python going in, so just doing a substrate change, freshening up that bed, and going to be setting it up. So right now I'm using uh, the, the wipeout stuff. It actually really works on uh, the hard water stains. I'm gonna let it sit for like a minute or two and then I'll go in with a razor and I'll start, you know, razoring it off and yeah, we'll see. A word of caution though, do this at your own risk. I don't condone using razors, but it's the best tool that we have. Yeah. And actually for the job too. Yeah. There's actually these, uh, if you don't do it right, you can scratch the glass a lot. Yeah, exactly. So. You gotta, you gotta come at it by an angle. There's these really cool razors that they sell at Walmart that they're like these, but they have like a little plastic handle on them. Oh. So it makes it a lot easier. I've got one at my house. Oh, that's, that's it cool. It makes holding the razors a lot easier and a lot safer. Yeah. Hey, Jenny. What? I'm looking at this tank down here and I'm seeing a stick and nothing else. Yes. It will be dark soon. Oh, it cracks me up. I'm just like looking at him like there is something missing that's essential in this tank. Are you going to show us how to decorate a tank for an arboreal snake? Duh. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. What is an arboreal? What is arboreal? Bill, 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 you don't know what arboreal means. I know what it means. <laughs> all right, all right, Jenny, explain explain for those of our audience who do not know that. So, yeah, Bill's arboreal. No, uh, so arboreal means that the animal lives up in the trees. So what you want to do, kind of like a chameleon, you want to build upwards. Uh, so you want to have a tall tank, you've got your crested geckos, they are arboreal, they live up in the trees, so you got to have that tall, a lot of climbing objects, and, uh, different size sticks to like, you know, simulate the kind of wild and also just it helps with strengthening the body on like tiny sticks versus like big, big logs. So it's cool stuff. All right, let me go get the stuff and we can do that. Now this tank here, this is for a non-arboreal snake, right? It's for a ground dwelling or terrestrial snake. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to straight rip the bark. Now, even though this is an arboreal snake, it can still go into, it doesn't have to be necessarily a vertical tank, as long as you build it up. It doesn't necessarily, but it's best to have. Yeah. But this uh, is the one that we have. Recommended. This is the one we have open here right now, but uh, we'll show you how we turn it into a... It's plenty of room for the little guy that we got in. What is this? What kind of rock is this? It's a, it's a lava rock. Lava rock. Mm -hmm. Why it's so light. What the heck is that, Jenny? It's a fountain. A fountain? Oh, he fountain. gets a fancy fountain. There's a couple things in mind. You gotta, or a couple things you need to keep in mind whenever you're building a tank, especially an arboreal tank. You need to have a basking spot, so somewhere where the snake or whatever animal you have, for them to sit and get their proper, proper heat and UVB if they require it. Um, and then you've also got to have a pool side, and then just some other random stuff that can be interesting for not just you to look at, but for your animal to play around and explore and stuff. So. Thank you. It's not just the most fun part, but it's also the most important part. Is whenever you're decorating your tank, so you also want to keep in mind for them to like places for them to hide. So if they ever like are uncomfortable or just want a place to you know cool off and sleep, keep that in mind. So right here is like a nice little kind of cave area, kind of. 
made, so if he wants to hide, he can totally hide, but you can obviously still see him, but he'll still feel hidden back there. So, and then right here would be a good spot for him to do his basking. And the rest is pretty much just, you know, leave enough room to put the appropriate size bowl in. Even though I do have a fountain in here, we still like to add a bowl just to, you know, if they want to soak themselves, you still want to be able to have an area for that. But to help it even further, you add the branch to hide the wire. Kind of the of wire, and then I'm going to just make like a little fake plant to it. You okay? Did you almost just fall? No. Yeah? Maybe. Yes. Yeah, we're, good. we're good. There we go. You, you know he's still going to try to wiggle his way behind Well, there. that's totally fine. He can wiggle himself behind there. The, mo the biggest thing is I really wanted to... Make it look nice. Make it, make, you know, hide the wires, make it look nice, and, you know, match the little uh, maple leaf. And last but not least, after you've kind of put everything together, you also want to make sure your structures are stable. <laughs> you want to make sure that, you know, the weight of the animal and the animal, like, you know, running around on it doesn't, like, make it crash, fall, and, you know, hurt the animal by, like, falling on it. So, just got to make sure you, like, that's just wiggly. It's not going to fall or anything. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I thought I had my flare. All right, there we go. Now we're good. <laughs> and the lava rock. I gotta add a rock. Rocks are nice. 